Chef Danny Whitey of Rebel Restaurant, thank you for being here today. My pleasure, my pleasure. So what's on the menu? Shrimp cocktail. My favorite. <laughs> it was my <laughs> grandfather's favorite and you guys are about the same age, so. <laughs> We're gonna jump right into making uh, the poaching liquid, which okay. is gonna be one of the things that can impart the, the flavor to it. So if you start with a high quality shrimp and you add a little bit of uh, effort and love, it's gonna go a long way. Uh, so what we're gonna make is a, a court bouillon, uh, which is an old school French thing. It's court means short, so it's the idea of making something that doesn't take a lot of time, but it's gonna help to impart a little bit of flavor. But if you can impart some aromatics in there and then use the, the shells of the shrimp, which you don't eat in the shrimp cocktail unless mm -hmm. you do, mm -hmm. you know, you can give a little bit more flavor of that shrimp. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna start with a little bit of wine, actually, to get the, the alcohol cooked off. Um, so while you You know what? Up, this can... is something I know how to help with. <laughs> right. Don't f*** it wine you've cho <laughs> Is it the wine you've chosen for this us to is, cook this with? This is one. I think that this, mm. uh, this one pairs exceptionally well uh, with... Uh, yes. uh, de Chalier. Uh, I know this wine, yes. At least we cook with wine that's in a bottle. It's true. Well, you know, they always say you should never cook with a wine that you should that you wouldn't drink. True. And I think that that's a good statement. You want to pick a wine that at least is like it's approachable in a sense that like you don't have to throw it away or Yeah, and this isn't this isn't overly acidic. It's got good acidity, it has good weight. It tastes great. Oh, there it is. Cool. All right. All right, so what are we doing with this wine? We're going to take some of this wine and we're going to put it right into the pot. I usually just use white vegetables, the fennel, the celery thing, just to keep it kind of like within the same theme, you know? You took a skin of a leek and you put inside parsley, peppercorns, bay leaf, peppercorns, bay leaf. Since it's a quick broth, you kind of want to get like a fairly similar cut on it all, just keep the veg about the same thickness. That way to extract the, the flavors quickly. And we're going to let that go. And once that wine is cooked off, once the alcohol is cooked off, mm -hmm. we'll then add our water to it and we'll let that go for 20 minutes or so. These uh, shrimp that we have here are uh, Georgia Whites. They're beautiful, huh? They're gorgeous. So what we're going to start doing is uh, we're going to take the heads off. We're taking the heads off. And if you're doing like the big batch first, is actually then use these same shells. You can roast them off and then you can get that flavor into the stock as well. Okay. So after you take the head off, if you see like the way the shrimp uh, breaks down, like the top layers over the front and it goes down. So yeah. if you start from the back, what you can end up doing is you end up taking it off all at once. Yeah. And then, whoop. Totally, yeah, starting from the back. And there you have your shrimp. Did you grow up eating a lot of shrimp? You know, I'm Italian. Mm -hmm. So at Christmas, it was our normal tradition to, we would, you know, eat the seven fish. Six <laughs> fish, one shrimp? <laughs> what is it about shrimp that people love so much? I don't know. It's Maybe like, since they're easy to eat. Like, you don't need snackable. any utensils. Yeah. Well, I think that's why it's, it's like the like... potato chip of the sea. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add the water to this. Okay, so we've done uh, step one of cleaning the shrimp. We have our bodies here. Mm -hmm. You know what, we're just gonna put them in here without roasting them into there. So as it cooks off, it can't, it's it can't like, hurt you to do that, right? There definitely is flavor. We're gonna do this tag team again. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take the top off. Uh huh. And you're gonna remove that little line. Wait, saving the good job for me. Thank exactly. you. That's awesome. <laughs> that guy must have been on a diet. There wasn't much yeah. going on there. Yeah. yeah sometimes it's uh, you know it's like the game of Russian roulette. You yeah. Know? And other days you can be like, oh my god, what is this? Yeah. This guy's got it going on here. So once you have them clean, we're gonna put them into this uh, other pot that we first had the water in. One of the highlights of the shrimp cocktail, and yeah. that's the cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce traditionally includes four ingredients. Okay. You would have your Tabasco, your ketchup, your horseradish, and your Worcestershire sauce. And if you want something that's a bit racier, you know, you put more horseradish in. If you want something that's yeah, a bit deeper. Yeah, adjust the temperature. Adjust the temperature. We used to have like what... a hot and like a, and like a mild. Yeah. I, and as a kid, I would just dive into that hot, old extra right. horseradish, and I'd be like, oh. <laughs> So if, that, if that's the one that you love, yeah. uh, let's, yeah, let's go with let's that. Let's go for it. So if you want to start adding some of the Tabasco, Tabasco oh, yeah. sauce, you know. One you think is enough? Yeah. Let's put a big horseradish, because I yeah. really like Now the horseradish, horseradish thing, is it something you buy already grated at the supermarket? If you can't find some, you know, you can always go with the fresh horseradish. You peel it, you grate it in there. That's this little, thing here? That's that, that's, that's that the thing. fresh horseradish? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that thing's making me nervous. <laughs> There we go, a little pepper. Does this qualify for, as cooking for what I'm doing right here? Or mixing, no? I think. It's really <laughs> mixing, but you know. Yeah, I mean, sure. Or you want to add. <laughs> See, uh, I see, think it's great. See Patrick Capiello's uh, cocktail I think it's, I'm, sauce. I'm excited. It's a little hot, but. You know, it still has that sweetness of horseradish coming in under there. Yeah. The other thing that you can add too is a little bit of lemon juice too. Now we're cooking once I get a knife, <laughs> there right? There it is, it's terrifying. All right, all right. And I don't want the seeds to go in there, so no. I'm gonna just like do it into my hand. Uh, well, right? you... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one way that you can do it. Uh, we're gonna wait for this to come up to a boil. Well, that's happening. Maybe we should open some wine to drink. Okay, yeah, that's okay, let's do good. that. So, in the spirit of this being a pretty, I, you know, I mean, a pretty American dish, I want yeah. to have an American wine that goes with it. So, this is a husband and wife winemaking team in California. Okay. Uh, they're in Napa and in Clarksburg. You know, now it's kind of a cool time in California because you're seeing winemakers that are interested in making wines with more European sensibility. They're mm. looking at making lower alcohol, easier to drink, I imagine. You know, one hundred percent, and better with food. Yeah. And, and I mean, I think JJ and Jack, who are the winemaking team here, they really, they really do a great job of it. 
This is a wine made from a grape called Alborino. Oh yeah. Um, and Alborino, which you would find in Northwest Spain, is really a common wine to have with, with seafood, with shellfish. So yeah. I think it makes a lot of sense. And the reason why a grape like Alborino will exist in California was the Spanish missionaries, when they were cultivating California, they are basically planting grapes to make communion wine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's oh, and it smell, yeah. smells like Alborino. It has like yeah. really kind of a salty, you can smell that kind of saltiness, right? It's great. Good, right? Yeah. Mm. Fresh, vibrant. Yeah. Yeah. Here, give this a try. It's a little hot. Okay. But you can already tell, like, you, you have a little bit of uh, the flavor from the, the shrimp, the vegetables, the aromats, the wine, the acidity is there. Totally. Yeah, it, that's like a great, great, like, soup. <laughs> a quick soup, and it doesn't yeah. take long. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have to sort of fish out all of the stuff. We're going to strain it. Just pass it right through a colander, put it right, in, right into the pan. Smart. Right, that's right great. into the pan. So you're saying that heat of that broth is hot enough that it's going to cook those shrimp. We don't even got to put it back on the. On you the don't have so to. You know, this is going to be like, like a, a slow you're, poach. You're throwing a boiling liquid on top of it. Amazing. I don't think you'll need to go there for more than six minutes, depending on the size. About six minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So this has already been in there for two minutes, right? You see how it still has a little bluish hue in there? Yeah. But it's like showing signs of like almost getting there. So you can even leave it there a little bit longer. Right. Now what we have over here, which is just a hotel pan on top of ice. And then if you have a little strainer, just strain them out. Oh, and you're gonna begin to cool these down. Just, you know, put them on a little uh, paper towel. Let them dry out a little bit, you know. And you can also then put them into uh, the refrigerator so they really just uh, cool down a bit. I always am a fan of lemon. And we have your cocktail sauce. Looks pretty amazing. Let's give it a go. Let's, let's see what this is all this, about. Let's check this pairing out. See, now my family, you just dip it in there. You yeah, know I mean? you know, I want to, I mean, I guess we are family, might yeah, as well. I don't, yeah, I'm dipping, I don't care, I like to dip. It's funny, because I see the wine also like helps to amplify a bit of that heat on the back end. Yeah, it carries it. it carries it out. It Without matters. a doubt, yeah. I, I thought about doing like a sweeter wine with this, like maybe a Riesling from Germany with a little mm -hmm. sweetness, but I think the sweetness of the ketchup, I don't think, I think a sweet wine would, would, be, would be too much. All that labor for two minutes of enjoyment. Oh, right? <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, love. If you like this video, and you want to see more just like it, click the subscribe button.